Thomas, the iconic, mischievous, number one tank engine that everyone loves. The title character of his own TV show made back in 1984 by Britt Allcroft and David Mitten and based on the Railway series books by Wilbur Audrey. But did you know that in the books, Thomas didn't make his first appearance until the second book titled Thomas the Tank Engine? In today's video, we will be going to the island of Sodor to dive into a full analysis on the railway's resident number one. Thomas is based on the LB and SCR E2 class tank engine, a locomotive built between June of 1913 and October of 1916, and only 10 of these models were ever built. They mainly did shunting and the occasional passenger train, and were very useful until they were withdrawn sometime in 1961, all of which were unfortunately scrapped. Thomas was built and arrived on Sodor sometime in 1915 and started off as the pilot of Knapford Station, which involved shunting coaches and freight into their proper places so that bigger engines like Gordon and Henry can pull them. The little tank engine always dreamed of going out to see the world and got his wish when he was given his very own branch line as a reward for helping James after a serious accident, and the rest is history. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the character from the entire show because he has a very different personality depending on which era you're referring to. Also, I'm not too familiar with the books, so I will only be talking about the tank engine from the classic series. When he first arrives on Sodor, Thomas is a cheeky engine who loves playing tricks on the other engines, especially Gordon, the biggest and proudest of them all. Despite his cheekiness, Thomas wants nothing more than to be really useful, just like the rest of the engines. Throughout the years of being on Sodor, Thomas has matured and proved time and time again that little engines can do big things. In my honest opinion, Thomas is basically every teenager ever. He's one of the most relatable characters in the entire series, simply because of how the world treats him. Thomas just has so much determination to be the best he can possibly be, and I highly praise him for it. When he's happy, I'm happy for him. When he's sad, I cry along with him. And when he's mad, I am mad with him. Thomas is such a relatable character, and that's why I love him. In the later seasons, especially in the Hit and Mattel eras, Thomas is an entitled jackass, but in the classic series and the books, Thomas is a hard-working tank engine that is determined to get the job done, no matter what it is, and as he's failed time and time again, he never gave up and kept moving forward in life. He may be cheeky and mischievous at times, but all the same, he just wants to be really useful, and I think people will learn a thing or two from this character. 